Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Linux in 2. Today in this tutorial we are talking about diamond problem in Java in particular. So let's get started. So what's diamond problem? If you look at this diagram, you can see there are four classes. Grandparent, parent 1, parent 2 and child respectively. Parent 1 and parent 2 inherit from grandparent and child inherits both parent 1 and parent 2. For example, say this grandparent has a method draw. When parent 1 and parent 2 inherits from grandparent, parent 1 will be having the same method draw and parent 2 also will be having the same method, right? Because it can access the draw method of this parent. And what parent 1 does, parent 1 actually overrides the draw method here. Parent 2 doesn't do anything, it gets a draw method from its parent. Now, the child actually inherits both of these classes, parent 1 and parent 2 respectively. So when we try to call the method draw from child class, the compiler cannot determine which method to be executed because parent 1 has its own implementation in its class and parent 2 gets draw method from grandparent. So compiler is helpless over there. So this ambiguity is called diamond problem. And if you look at the shape of this diagram, you can see it's quite like a diamond, right? So that's the reason why it got the name diamond problem. So how did Java designers got rid of diamond problem? They did not solve it. But Java designers avoided diamond problem by not allowing multiple inheritance for classes in Java. And one thing you have to note here is that they allowed multiple inheritance for interfaces only. Now you may ask, so what's the big deal now? So ever since Java 8 released, in Java 8, uh, we can define default methods in interface. So what is default method? Default method is a concrete implementation of methods in interface. So you can see there are three uh, interfaces, grandparent and parent 1 and parent 2. And there is a class child. Parent 1 and parent 2 inherits from grandparent and child inherits parent 1 and parent 2. So for example, suppose there is a default method here in parent 1 and default method with same signature exists in parent 2 as well. So when we try to execute that particular method from child, the child has the implementation from parent 1, also has another implementation from parent 2. So the compiler cannot determine which method to be executed. So this ambiguity arises again in Java 8. So let's see how to solve it. So first of all, I need to create a uh, scenario, diamond scenario here. So for that, I will all go on and up. Yeah, we have this, have this IntelliJ open and you can see the diagram over here, diamond. So diagram of the diamond problem. Yeah, I have created a project called diamond problem and you can see the uh, diagram for that. So we have a grandparent, which is an interface, parent one, another interface, parent two, another interface, and both of parent one and parent two actually inherits from grandparent. And you can see a class child, which actually uh, implements both these parent one and parent two. So we have grandparent, which is having an abstract method, parent one having a default method, say hello, then parent two, another abstract method. So you can see uh, parent one should extend from grandparent, right? So We'll go and write parent one extends grandparent and parent two. Yeah, I have already created that extends parent grandparent, and uh, we should have a child now. So I'll go and create a new uh, class, Java class, and we, I will name it as child. So I'll create a new class. You can see a class which actually implements both parent one and parent two. Implements parent one, parent two, and parent one. Yeah, so it's parent one and have grandparent having some abstract method I need to implement those methods I'm implementing both print me as well as print name over here and we are not implementing I mean we are not actually giving the implementation of say hello because it, this is a default method go on and create those uh, we are going to give the implementation of print me I will go on and print out the name here value this is out my name is child if you look at child extends parent 1 and parent 2 child implements parent 1 and parent 2 and parent 1 and parent 2 which in turn extends from grandparent so we have this structure over here uh, I will go on and create the instance of child class uh, those print name child dot print me Say hello. 
so i'll go on and run this particular main method so we have this, this running so you can see first it is running like my name is child then linux sim and hello from parent one the project is working fine let's talk about diamond problem here parent one having a default method parent two is having a abstract method so what happen if i copy this default method and paste it here and i'll, I'll say hello from parent two this case if you go to main now i am actually trying to run child dot say hello right so since say say hello exists both in parent one as well as parent two if i try to run what will happen if you know the answer just comment below so let's go on and uh, run the project i'm running it project c you are getting a compilation error in this in child class what it say it says child inherits unrelated defaults for say hello from both parent 2 and parent 1 so when you try to create a diamond problem in java so java designer actually dealt with uh, giving a compilation error so what's the solution is for that we need to override say hello here so i'll go and override say hello here i'll print hello from child we rectified the compilation error i'll go on and run the main class again so you can see my name is child printing linux m and you can see hello from child so which say hello is getting executed the say hello that we have defined in the child class here so this is the method that is getting executed so to tackle the diamond problem when we have a ambiguity between the two methods that is actually present in both of these parent interfaces we need to give our own implementation in the child class that's how they tackled it so let's talk more about this particular method say hello we have this definition right so after that i need to call the say hello in print parent one so what should i do what will you write parent one the keyword super here dot say hello this is how you call the parent and again you can do like this parent two dot super dot say hello this is how you if you want to call the parent you give the interface name dot super keyword then the that particular method so let's run this program you can see my name is child printing the second method then see you can see hello from child hello from hello from parent one parent two according to what we have defined in this method first hello from child here then hello from parent one then hello from parent two so this is how you tackle it to conclude this video whenever there is ambiguity arises between these uh, parents we need the child should give its own implementation so that the compiler can understand which class method to be executed so if you like this kind of video do like share and comment on this video thank you